Hey everyone, this is Connor from Futures Analytica. We're trading ES with the Polarity Automated Trading Interface today. If you're interested, settings are in the pinned comment as always. We're starting right off by arming long and short in both directions as the market opens. Little disclaimer, the footage is sped up at times just for the sake of time, and this commentary was done in post. So as you can see, because we armed the strategy for long and short, we had a little bit of a gap down. We saw that triple stacked imbalance with that one tick gap. Our fill was pretty off, but that just happens when the market's gonna gap down like that. However, we do get filled pretty quickly right after that. So we got 15 ticks on five contracts, which is a really solid $917 after commissions and slippage. After that trade, we did immediately rearm short while we were looking for another trade. However, it did not happen before price moved upward, which after that we decided to disarm both as it was not the delta amount that we were looking for to arm in either direction. About five minutes passed after that last trade and we saw a really large uptick in delta, over 615 delta compared to the last bar, which is 135. So we decided to arm it in both directions as there is likely going to be a break in either direction. Shortly after this, we get a down tick as well as a triple stacked imbalance where it enters a short. At this point, we're not gonna be queuing up a short trade immediately afterward. However, we are going to be waiting for this trade to be filled. If it does fill us and Delta still looks good as well as price action, we are going to arm short as you can see right there. So right here, as we're in this trade, like we talked about earlier, we are going to continue to arm short. So once this trade gets filled, we end up getting filled into another trade. Um, that next trade ends up not getting, uh, not working out. However, uh, the consensus of why we had the arm short was correct. Um, you can lose trades and still have a correct trade thesis. That's just how, how this game works. But um, essentially, that's just what we ended up doing here. We got filled pretty nice on this trade, entered immediately into that next trade because that stacked imbalance formed right after we got closed, and uh, we move on from there. So we take a loss. Now we're at two wins, one loss for the day. So after this, because we took that loss and then the price started to move in kind of a range, we just stood back and we observed the market. And as you can see, we had marked some absorption levels and support and resistance lines. Marked those with the Shift F2 tool that is that comes by default with NinjaTrader. So we created those little ranges. Essentially what we do is that we wait for price to exit this range and then we arm it in that direction. So because it broke out in the long direction, we are arming for long. So when we arm for long now, we're just waiting for that stacked imbalance to make sure that it is not a false breakout. And then after this, we get that really big block order on the right side. We get filled a couple ticks above that triple stacked imbalance, but we'll live with it. And then we get filled pretty quickly. We have it armed for long continuously still because Delta still is good as low as price action. So once again, I wanna show you guys what I'm looking at in terms of when I wanna arm and disarm the strategy. We see here that the strategy is still armed, but we decide to disarm there. We do this because although price is still pretty much where the bar opened, delta is negative. This essentially means that where we might see a decrease in price at this point, but we don't have the confidence, especially to arm it for long. We don't arm it for short, however, we might be looking for a short trade. The only reason why we don't have it armed short at this point is because it is above that long breakout level. However, we will continue to observe and see what happens. We're gonna wait and see if this bar continues to be negative, or I'm sorry, the delta on this bar continues to be negative. At this point, if it does, it close, if it closes negative, we're gonna wanna arm it short. So as it turns out right there, when that bar closed and then we armed short, imbalances appeared right as we did that. So it pretty much acted as if we were manually entering. However, the system did the entry and it detected those imbalances without our interference. Because it re-enters this range, we're not really gonna be, wanna be looking for any trades, especially again in the short direction. We're only gonna be looking for trades in the long direction, but even then it does need to have a really nice clean breakout in that direction before we decide to arm. And we do end up getting filled there. And with that, we have now re-entered that range. So once again, not looking for short trades and long trades only can with the condition of price breaking out in a clean way. So as time has passed and moved forward a little bit, we see that this bar has actually opened and closed above that resistance level that we marked before. 
So the correct thing to do here is to wait until the bar closes and then to arm long when that happens. One thing to point out is that there is a large degree of waiting with this strategy. You're going to see a lot of times where you have the strategy armed and no trades come up. And that's the beauty of it, actually, that you might see that as a negative. But what you're looking for is that it's filtering out trades that would not necessarily have had a high probability of working out. You can make the strategy more sensitive to show more trades, but by doing this, you might actually be doing it in a way that decreases your success rate overall. This can be um, advantageous if you are better at using the strategy, you know what to look for when arming and disarming. However, for newer traders, I suggest going with a more conservative approach using the settings in the comment section. We're actually using a pretty unique aspect here. We're using a low minimum imbalance volume, but with a high imbalance ratio, almost 50%, which actually means 2x. You essentially need to have two times the amount of volume on one side than the other diagonally calculated. So. There's some more info on that in the guidebook, but the settings that I'm using today are in the comments. So that stacked imbalance does end up appearing in the long direction there. And now we're just going to be playing the waiting game. Essentially, we don't have any real moves we can do here except for preemptively arming long. Um, at this point, we're just going to want to just stay and observe because it did retest this level when it re-entered that range, didn't completely re-enter it, and then we exited it again. So if there is a breakout, we want to make sure of it and that, that this price trend is going to continue upwards. So we have our, our mouse on the arm long button. However, we don't have it checked just so we can get some more data. We're pretty much ahead of the market at this point in terms of what we need to process. We just need to wait for some more data to come in before we can make a decision. And within seconds, we get that instant fill. Price just jumped upward on that huge block trade on the right side. I don't know what that was. It could have been an institution opening a really big position. I'm not sure. But at that point, it would have been really nice to have that arm long button checked already. Our mouse wasn't really close enough. We weren't ready for that. But it would have been advantageous if you had it because this trade does end up filling in the end. But I'll take what I can get. We had a $4,500 day there. Really solid first hour and 30 minutes in the day. If you guys are interested in trading this strategy, attached in this screenshot is the results of the last 275 trades taken starting on April 10th. But essentially what this is gonna show you guys is a hypothetical performance at peak levels. This is a subjective strategy, so it is not fully automated, but what it's going to do is it is going to give you the best possible execution for the trading strategy that is included with purchase. This is actually an all-inclusive package, meaning it has everything you need to start trading. It has a full guidebook going from A to Z to teach you guys exactly what you need to trade the strategy, how to set it up, and it even includes a top step evaluation account. So what happens when you purchase the system, you have a top step evaluation account that is assigned to you, and you actually get to take their trading combine for free on any of their account sizes. This includes data fees for free, as well as platform fees, and everything you need to start trading. This is an as supplies last promotion with Top Step. I have no idea how long it's going to last, but check the comments of this video to see if we still have this promotion ongoing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Um, I appreciate all of the views and support you guys have been giving, especially with the release of the Polarity ATI. Thank you guys so much for your positive comments and feedback. It honestly makes my day uh, hearing about how you guys are either finally able to get profitable or you're able to pass your trading combine or you're finally just figuring things out having to do with how seeing the market and how it works. Um, it means the world to me. I have a lot of um, nervousness over whether or not this system is going to be easy to learn, usable by you guys, and you guys have helped quell so many of those fears. So thank you so much for the support. Please shoot me an email if you guys are either not, if the strategy is not working for you guys, or if even if it is working for you guys. I just want to hear any kind of feedback having to do with it. I love you guys. I love all the support you guys have been giving the channel, and you've made all this possible. Um, thank you guys so much, and tune in next week for another live trading video.